Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, this is your man, Mark, aka Rainbow Motion. Um, I know a lot of y'all that um, I was gonna come and do a video talking about the uh, the murder of Trevon Martin, but. You know I had to because even if I think something's right, I'm still going to talk about it. And if I think it's wrong, I'm still going to talk about it. Um, but it's just a way of putting it out there. And now that I'm trying to get my myself on the right path, I'm going to try and do this video. since I've seen you guys and I know you haven't seen me in a minute I just had a lot of stuff going on with me but I did want to go ahead and address this so like I said oh super me I said if it's right I'll address it if it's wrong I'll address this too but I'm changing the way I'm going to address this video because I don't want to put too many cuss words in it. I want to keep it on a a PG level, you know, for young adults to understand what I'm saying. And nobody, in case somebody's child happens to see it, you know, or people watch it with their children. So I don't want people, adults, to think that, oh, he's cussing again. Oh, he, every time he gets on here, he's always cursing. Because it's not the true point. I don't always curse, it just depends on the situation. But in this situation, I'm not going to curse even though it was a bad situation. Um, the name of this video is called No Justice, No Peace. And you can't have peace if you, have, if you don't have justice yet. And the me speaking on that is about Trevon Martin's murder. And the gentleman, Mr. whatever his first name is, and his last name, Mr. Zimmerman. And um, I wanted to really give my response on the situation and what my thoughts were. First of all, I need people to understand, just because somebody walks around in a hoodie in the middle of the night, black or white, it's not suspicious. No one should be accused as being a suspect, suspicious, or a criminal unless you found that they're not innocent. You know what I'm saying? The whole statement of proving uh, innocent until proven guilty, that is something to look about. You can't assume that someone is something and you don't really know. If you don't ask, then guess what? You assume. You want to assume there was that assumptions makes ass out of you. You make an ass of yourself. Assumption. There you go. What's the beginning of the letters? Ass. That sums it up. Now for a gentleman to assume that a 17 year old boy, 17, who walks out of his house, goes to the store, goes get some snacks, goes back to, on his way back to his house, is a suspect. If he looked like he went to the store, he obviously bought some stuff. If he going back to the house he live in, how can he be a suspect? Now my thing is this. If he walked out that same house and the guy in Mr. Zimmerman was patrolling, as he say, neighborhood watch. Then why didn't he see him come out of his house, go to the store, come back and try and try to go back into the same door that he just exited out of? Because they had a hoodie on. But see, a neighborhood watch person will know that 
If you just came out that house, you might have locked the door. You go into the store. You're trying to go back to that same house. Wouldn't you obviously live there? Hmm. Maybe visiting. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, this man killed a 17-year-old boy because he had a hoodie on. So that means to tell me that anybody in the world that's black or white is walking around with a hoodie, you are suspicious. You are a suspect. That means because of the law, or this stupid law they have to carry a gun, oh, you look suspicious. Oh, I'm, I feel like my life is in jeopardy. I have the right to pull the trigger and not go to jail. What is a 17-year-old boy really finna do to you? Hello? I mean, there are some kids that are bad, but he looks like he was okay. Looks like he just wanted to go to the store and get some snacks. Not die on his way going home. Now, I don't understand this, this whole law thing about these guns and it's okay. If you don't have a felony on your record, you are allowed. So that means to tell me if you are racist, a pimp, a thug, um, a fraudulent person, meaning that, you know, you just run around with different personalities in your head and you think you're somebody else. Because you don't have a felony on your record, you can walk around with a gun and shoot anybody innocent because you feel like your life might be threatened or you assume that your life is threatened. This law is ridiculous to me. I think they need to throw it out because too many people think they're big and bad and walking around with guns and think it's okay to to shoot somebody because they 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 got a um, a license to carry it or because the law says you can carry it or have it I don't want a gun personally these two things is what I grew up with these two things I don't mind fighting for but take somebody's life I'm not gonna do I'm not God nor anybody else should try to take someone's life because of a confrontation or a disagreement or you don't like their skin color or you think they're suspicious. Now, I think he should go to jail. I think he should go be trial for his actions. While he is walking through the world looking and seeing the sky and smelling the air the child that he shot isn't. While he puts a laughter on his face, his mother is crying. While he is free, the child ha is gone. Ain't no freedom no more. You know, I don't understand it. You give a, in a man innocent rights when he was a murderer. You didn't test him to see if he had anything in his system. So that further lets me know that police ain't doing their job. Police are not investigating the murders that they way they're supposed to. You didn't call the homicide. You called narcotics. Narcotics for what? The child had nothing on it. What? A piece of candy has got something in it? What? I didn't know that, you know, having chips and stuff was, was a, a drug these days. No, I didn't know soda was like, ooh, uh, you know, cocaine these days. I didn't know that. That snacks was the new thing now that you need to call narcotics for. Didn't realize that. Hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I don't understand how a man that get innocent rights for killing a child, taking an ch innocent child's life, who was on your arm, didn't have anything on him. This child was fitting to finish school and go to college and probably be a football basketball player and he, and he took his life for false accusations and then the police oh, because the law the gun law says he is innocent because he felt like he was threatened when they got a child in the background talking about somebody helped Help me. Help me. I don't think 
he is really doing something wrong. I don't think he's suspicious. I don't think he's a suspect. Don't nobody who's calling help and crying is a suspect to me. I'm sorry. I don't get, I don't I, I, I don't condone that excuse that BS that police said they investigated the situation. Then not only did you call not even call the right people. You didn't call homicide, you called narcotics. Oh, for what? A bag of chips, soda, a piece of candy? What, what? Is some drugs in his candy? Oh yeah, a snicker bar now these days is selling on the street? I didn't know that these days. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Bag of chips these days? I didn't know that that was the new drug these days. I, I didn't know. I didn't know if you can't walk around with a bag of chips anymore that you must be a, a drug dealer or you must got something really bad going on with you. Or if you wear a hoodie because you might be cold, oh, you can't do that anymore because you look suspicious. Oh, so that means you are you 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 are um you're gonna do something wrong. What? What what world are we living in? People killing themselves over stupid stuff, fighting for stupid stuff. But I'm not gonna let this down. I'm not. I'm not wearing my hoodie because I'm sorry. I wore it yesterday, and I wore it the day before that, and it's hot. Um, I did. I was gonna wear it this morning, but I woke up. There. But everybody in the world needs to wear a hood once in blue, even the open ones. Now throw your hoodie on. Support the Trevon Martin case. They need to investigate. They need to convict. Zimmerman for what he did. He shot an innocent child cold-blooded for false accusations. Assuming makes an ass out of you. And the bad part about it is the police department. The police that we're supposed to be feeling safe and secure because they're supposed to protect and serve are the ones who do so much damage, hide so much shit doing so much undercover stuff that we ain't going to name. You know what I'm saying? Letting innocent, letting criminals go free. Like Zimmerman. Because of the law. That false, fake, bull s law. Gun law, you say. So what if it was your child? Would you let him go free? What if you, that cop that let him go, what if that he shot your child with that same gun, with that same accusations? Would you let him go free? I bet you wouldn't. I bet you wouldn't. I bet none of them cops would let him go free if that was their child. But because it wasn't their child, they let him go free. And the man probably was drunk, probably a drug user, probably on an alcoholic. And see, that's one thing. Before you sit up here and give these give people guns and put it in their hand and you say because if you don't have a felony you can get one, you need to dig deeper because there's a lot of psycho people out there. There's people with personality uh, disorder, disorders. There's people who uh, bipolar disorders, racist, bigots. And you give them a gun. Alcoholics. Because they ain't got no felony, they're fine. They can carry a gun. But, again, nobody investigated him. Nobody gave him a drug test. Nobody gave him an alcohol test. See, they had anything in his system. But you let him go. And I think that was wrong. And when I say it's wrong, it is wrong. Zimmerman needs to be convicted. He don't need to be free walking through the streets because he could do it to another person. If he shot him, he would do it to somebody else. So I say, everybody needs to stand up. Speak out. A child died for no reason. And a man who needs to be convicted is proven innocent. You do the math. 
tell me where you what would you do if it was you in that same situation so then this is your man Kumari I want to let y'all go my heart's kind of hurting on that situation and that subject so um I'm going to let this video end I say peace blessings to the family of Chihuahua Martin to everyone that's taking a stand for his justice I thank you I thank anybody else who's putting videos and supporting that cause Mr. Zimmerman I hope you get convicted for what you did while you get to live he is dead and it's not right you killed an innocent child and I think you are murdering. I'm out.